Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. So today is a little bit of a different video and um, this video is very special because I am showcasing um, my most favorite entries to my shell challenge that I recently hosted on Instagram. So I had 70 entries on the gallery and they were just all incredibly beautiful and I just want to say thank you again to everyone who participated. I'm so happy and um, I really loved each and every one of the entries and um, I decided to choose nine finalists or like nine of my very favorite entries and then five um, winners. So um, I will be going through each one of them and showing you what exactly I like about them and tell you a little bit about why I chose them and I hope you will enjoy it. All right, so this first entry is by Muha Build. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I hope that for each and every entry, um, I'm sorry if I mispronounce something. Um, I'm trying my best. So this one is by Muha Build, and I actually love this so much because it's so lush and just all the bamboo and um, it's just so gorgeous. I mean, just look at it. And now my absolute favorite part about this are the um, custom like shutters or shutters that she made. They are just amazing. Look at them. She used tool, I assume, and I think those are um, island living windows or it could be um, eco lifestyle, but I think it's island living. Um, and she used them and uh, rotated them, put them at an angle and made them into these shutters. And I think that's just so, it's ingenious. It's really just beautiful. And just in general, I love the kind of um, Zen vibes that this has. And we have these um, uh, stones from Snowy Escape that we got and all this bamboo, which I love so much. And then we have this little seating area down here, which is so cute. So this is the first entry by Muha Builds. Okay, so this next one is by Amalia Sims. I think that's what she's called. And um, this one, I don't even know where to begin. It's just absolutely beautiful. I obviously love the colors um, you might know that I am absolutely a fan of color I mean my favorite one of my favorite things is definitely the little um, uh, landscaping section in the front um, she actually accentuated the round shape with that which I think is absolutely ingenious and then of course I love the lanterns that she used and um, in the top on the top we have a little seating area as well and um, this is so cute because you have actually several seating possibilities and I love this blue wallpaper that she used. I'm pretty sure that's from Island Living and all the fairy lights and all the greenery and this gorgeous ivy which I think is from Jungle Adventure and it's just amazing. So um yeah definitely also one of my absolute favorites by amalia sims all right so this next one is by lids three um that's uh, their gallery name and um i actually did not find them on instagram so um yeah i will obviously um link the or uh, have the gallery name in the description yeah this is lids three and this is so cute and when i first saw this i was just instantly in love i love all the flowers i love that uh, they use these um, butterflies and then one of my absolute favorite things is that they actually included these um lights these wall lights that we have um they came probably with parenthood or um i don't know maybe ki my kids room or something like that but they are so pretty and they kind of sparkle when you have it on live mode and um, just absolutely gorgeous. And then obviously uh, my favorite thing in general are just all these flowers. I think this is just too pretty. It's so gorgeous. Yeah, so 
This is absolutely beautiful and also one of my top favorites by Litz3. So this next one is by Tafissimo or Tafissimo Build. I think that's their Instagram handle. And this one is um, just astonishing. It's really like absolutely gorgeous. I mean, just look at it. It's just so unique. And the first thing that I absolutely love is this seating area in the front. And um, they use this gorgeous, um, it's from Get Famous, this uh, floor lamp. And I think it's lowered into the ground probably with tool and then just surrounded with, I don't even know what these items are, like some sort of rocks, I think. And um, this thing here is just so unique as well. And I'm assuming that this was also made by using tool. And um, those are these uh, snowiest, no, no um, <laughs> the uh, eco lifestyle wall decor items that we have. And um, probably also eco lifestyle, these um, wood wall decor that we have. Yeah, just in general, it's so clean and so chic, but still like very unique and very special. So absolutely one of my absolute favorites. This one by Tafissimo Builds. All right, so this next one is by Myri Kazoo. I think that's what you pronounce it. And um, this is just totally different. And um, when I first saw this, um, I think they posted it on Instagram as well. And when I first saw this, I instantly thought this was super cute. By but honestly, it like when I looked at it in game, I was just so blown away because there are so many details here that I didn't even see in the Instagram post. And then this is just adorable. We have this little fire with a guitar here, which is just perfect. And then this little um, camping sign. And then they put this little. Um, we got that with outdoor retreat. I don't even know what that is actually. I think it's kind of like an, uh, well, like a reindeer or something like that. And then here there's even a little duck on the bench and it's so like, so well thought out. And they have, um, put these little, um, decor items here and even some juice and all that, which I think is absolutely adorable. Yeah. Just an absolutely wonderful entry by Myra Kazoo. Okay, so this one is by My Symphony, and um, they even have their own YouTube channel, I think. Uh, and by the way, I think Tafissimo has as well. I'm not 100% sure, but if I find them, uh, I will link them down below as well, of course. And I think this was actually meant to be in Sulani. And um, I am just placing them all on the same lot because um, it's just a little bit easier for me. But there is actually this um, window, this floor glass window. And you would, if you were to place this in Sulani, you would see the ocean on uh, the bottom there, which I think is adorable. It's just so detailed. It's amazing. They put these little um, decorations here, those... Um, pictures are leaning against the wall this is all like made with tool i guess and uh, then we have these shutters again they are from snowy escape and they are just so cute and then we have the little kitchen here and there's so much detail here it's incredible really like look at all this clutter and um, just everything is just perfectly set up. So yeah, this is just in general, absolutely beautiful. And um, I love this so much. So definitely another big, big favorite by my Symphony. Okay, so this next one is by Olifanti. I think that's what you might call it. Um, I also didn't find an Instagram handle. Um, so this is the gallery ID. And this one is called Gnome Forest, I think. And at first glance, I first thought when I when I saw this on the gallery, like only the little gallery picture, I actually was a little bit like creeped out because of uh, the little uh, very much sized up doll that's just standing there. And I don't know, I kind of have a thing with dolls that I think they are a little bit creepy. Is it just me or I don't know, <laughs> maybe I'm weird, but um 
Yeah, but then I looked at it and I was just absolutely blown away. This is a forest with gnomes everywhere and it's just so detailed. I mean, all these little um, animals and flamingos and we have this little what has to be a pond and with the super sized down um, uh, uh, pool mattress that we have. And look at this, there's this little gnome with a with a piece of cake and then we have this little kitty here and uh, the gnome there in the um, in this planter box and it's just I mean come on this is just too funny and then on the top it's even better we have um, they use this little um, did we get that with get to work this little um, kind of science thing that we have I think that might have been get to work and they even put this little gnome here inside. This is just so funny and so cute and absolutely original. So um, I definitely had to inc include this and uh, I absolutely love this entry by Olifanti. So this next one is by Sims for Therapy. And this is actually a mini golf place. And when I first saw this, I actually thought that this was kind of like a um, a miniature kind of museum style uh, build. I don't know if we uh, we have this in Germany sometimes that we have like these little parks where they have um, like miniature buildings and that's actually what I, what I first thought it would be. This is such a cute idea and I absolutely love what she came up with. She used this um, these base game um, debug items that we have. They are these uh, plant like flower beds basically and I don't even know where this this little item is from it's probably a debug, debug item but this really makes it look like it is actually a, a mini golf um, uh, kind of build there's this doll house and a gnome again and um, yeah this goes even back to here and um, I think this is just such a unique idea as well and no one did something like this and um, it just turned out so cute too. And then up here I, they, they put this, I think this one, this came with um, Snowy Escape. I think this is like a kind of like a food stand type thing and um, yeah this is just, I, I think this is supposed to be like a trailer and they have this little tent here i think that's what it's supposed to be and i definitely had to put this in again this beautiful build by sims for therapy now this next one is actually the last one of the finalists so the last one of the ones that did not quite make it as a winner and um, this one is by gloomy dahlia and um, this is just absolutely stunning as well um, this is also supposed to be in Sulani. I think it was originally built in Sulani, but again, I placed this in Windenburg on the same lot just because it's easier that way. And one of my favorite features was the added roof, which I absolutely think is adorable. And they even added floor in here. So this is actually, it looks cute and um, it's not just an empty roof, which and the window, it's just, I think that's so clever and it's so cute and unique as well. And obviously these giant curtains are just such a statement and I absolutely love that as well. And on the top, that's also one of my absolute favorite features. Oh, um, I just thought this fence probably just went up because it's not on the ocean. Um, but yeah, this is my favorite feature. One of my favorite features as well. These little planter boxes here, they are, I think, custom made and um, they are just gorgeous. I couldn't tell like how exactly they did it, but it's just absolutely beautiful and such a unique idea. Yeah, just overall such a beautiful and unique um, entry as well with all these colors and this island flair, which I just think is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, this entry by Gloomy Dahlia. So these are actually all of the finalists. So um, yeah, let's have a look at the winners. So the fifth place actually goes to iBuilder and um, they have an amazing Instagram account. I have actually participated in a challenge by them before as well. 
and they made this Foxbury、um, kind of student party location. So、um, the first thing that actually caught my eye is the tree and this little area down here, which I absolutely love. The tree is one of my absolute favorite. Um, landscaping items, and I want to use this in every single of my builds. So、um, I'm so so glad that they used this here, and it fits so well. And back here is actually a stage, and I could never like to fit all the stuff in here. It's just incredible by itself, and. All these、um, wall decors and all these posters—it looks so cool. Then, of course, the star of the show is this upstairs area, and、um, they actually use this、um, roof piece. I forget which pack this is from, but I thought this was so clever. This actually—I have no idea. If this is gallery art, I think it must be because I, or I mean, it might be something that I just haven't seen before.、Um, anyway, it just looks absolutely amazing. This is the fifth place by iBuilder. So the fourth place goes to this is a Sims World on Instagram, and I think Angelka on the gallery. I don't know how to pronounce it. I, I will again link it down below in the description. And this one is just right up my alley. I absolutely love this. I love all the rocks, and I think this is just so unique. This downstairs area with the rocks, to me, this is just absolute perfection. I absolutely love this. You might know that I love to use rocks, and I love to cover everything up with rocks. And I mean, just look at how detailed and how perfect these rocks are placed. I don't even know if this is done with tool or not. If it isn't, I mean, kudos to you, man. This is really just incredible. I think this is supposed to be. It is Italy inspired, if I'm not mis mistaken. I could be wrong though, but I think so. And、um, this is supposed to be like the outside area of a little like vacation home, and so you would have your entrance. Probably here again, and then you have this little clothesline. Yeah, I absolutely just love this. So、um, again, this is the entry by This Is a Sims World or Angle Car. So now we're coming to the top three of my、um, winners, and this one is the third place or the bronze medal, and it goes to Feral Popuki. I think that's what it's called. What they're called.、Um, I have their gallery name linked down below as well. So I did not find them on Instagram,、um, but this is supposed to be a botanist's、um, workshop, and this one again is just—it speaks to me. This is just—it really just screams my name.、Um, at the bottom here, everything, as I said, is so so detailed.、Um, We have this little size down、um, gardening wall decor, and then there is this little desk here, and there is this bush coming through the windows, these beautiful、um, jungle adventure windows, and、um, this desk is so nice and cluttered. I absolutely love this. If you pass these fairy lights, which I love as well, of course, we have actually a little pond. And I love this、um, detail with the with the、uh, mirrors here. That is just so unique in my opinion, and I absolutely love that. Yeah, and upstairs is again a little workshop, and、um, they have the flower arranging table. I think it's the flower arranging table, and then I think this one came with、uh, eco lifestyle, or I might be mistaken. Maybe it's another one, but. Um, definitely some、um, workstations for flower arranging. Yeah, just in general, such an amazing entry. So, this is the third place going to Feral Popuki, and this is the second place, and this is the silver medal, and it goes to Simmer Adelina. And oh my God, this one is just absolutely stunning. When I first saw this, I instantly knew, okay, this is one of one of the winners. This is just going to be like one of my absolute favorites because the detail in this one is just outstanding, and I can highly recommend checking it out on the gallery yourself and just looking at it yourself. I mean, just look at this. This just everywhere is something to discover, and this little um, flower um, light that we have here. 
And then we have this little kind of um, area where you can wash your hands or just prepare food or wash your produce or whatever. So yeah, back here we have another seating area and then we have, I mean, it's just amazing how much space there is to even uh, decorate. And we have this little, um, is it eco lifestyle? I don't remember which uh, pack this um, shelf is from. We have a little seating area here and there's so much wall decor, which I absolutely love. And I didn't even know we had this item. <laughs> and um, these gorgeous fish, it's just so cute. I think they're from Island Living. And um, yeah, we have these sunbeds here and we even have a bar and the ivy extends till back here. Yeah, just in general, just by first glimpse, I instantly knew this is going to be one of my favorites. So definitely um, my second place is Simmer Adelena. And the first place goes to, drumroll, Jenzilla. Now, um, again, unfortunately, I didn't find an Instagram handle and um, Jenzilla is just the gallery name. So um, yeah, this is my first place and it's the gold medal. And this is because this is so unique and absolutely ingenious. So such clever ideas and so original and um, yeah, obviously the first thing that kind of um, <laughs> just is the elephant in the room is uh, the uh, the pond flowers that we have uh, on the wall. <laughs> this is just, I have never seen this before. They rotated it with tool. They must have used tool, I assume, and just placed them on the wall. And this must have been so much work and it, it looks amazing, really. And then they use these snowy escape um, uh, lanterns or the um, wall lights that we have in so many different sizes. I first saw this and I was like, what is that? Is it like gallery art? What what do we have here? And this is actually, um, I think this is the Island Living Counters. And then they put um, some wall decor, I think from City Living and covered them up. And these are just this is such a clever idea. I mean, just look at this. This is so cute. I absolutely love it. And on the right side, we have this little, po this little pond and they use these snowy escape um, lanterns, uh, which are absolutely beautiful. And then there is the spa day um, fountain decor piece that we have. And they actually use these fish. And this is again, I think my reshade that kind of makes weird things with them but um, they use the fish and kind of merge them into the wall to make them look like they are like swimming inside this uh, fountain decor piece. So this is just genius. I love this. There are so many clever ideas here. So um, this is again one um, first and second place. Really when I saw them, I initially thought, okay, this is, uh, this is it. This is going to be one of the um, first places. So um, yeah, this is the first place and it goes to Jenzilla. So this is actually all of my favorite entries that you just saw. I hope that you like this video and um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video. Bye!